What's up everyone, welcome to Director Discovery and I am Nicholas Clayton Lee. Today I got my hands on these, the Hermes Destin Loafers. Anyway, let's get into it. So let's start off by unboxing this, but as you guys can see, the bag is all wrinkled because I didn't really take care of it. I blame the humidity of my apartment, but um, yeah, I can guarantee you that this is all brand new. Anyway, let's unbox it. So unboxing this was very typical of Hermes, very classy, and the second you push this box out, you can smell the beautiful lambskin leather. It smells so nice, it makes you rethink whether or not this is worth putting just on your feet. You can't really smell that leather, maybe you just have to put your feet up now, I don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah, as you guys can see, there's the iconic PVT plated Kelly buckle right on the top. So I actually had a bit of trouble uh, removing the protective sticker because of that buckle. Yeah, I found a way so it was easier, but I think it, if you do it a lot, it's gonna just scratch it, so don't do it as much. Um, yeah, and I love how low key this is. And at the bottom, as you guys can see, it's made in Italy and it has this very smooth flake stitched sole. And I really like the bottom part right here where it has the rubber H on it. Looks very simple and very chic. I really like this pair of shoes because of that. It's very simplified, very, yeah. I, I just like like very clean looking things. I don't know how I feel about the buckle yet because it does stand out a bit. But yeah, I think I should just try these on and show you guys how I look at them. So what do you guys think about the photos? Think I look alright in them? <laughs> anyway, after trying these on, I gotta say these actually feel pretty comfortable as well. I think they do look pretty nice, especially from the side, from the top down. I find them looking a bit weird. So for me, every time I buy a pair of shoes, I have to look from the top down because that's a view I look, right? So if at the top looking down, I think it looks alright, then I'll most likely buy it. Uh, but yeah, so these, the top, Seems a bit weird, but then that's also on me because I've never really worn loafers before. But yeah, I think these are really nice though. Uh, like I said, the leather smells really nice, but I'd recommend you to get rubber sole stuck at the bottom. I know it kind of ruins the purpose, but or else you'll be like slipping all over the place, especially when it's in like carpet or something, at like hotels or something. I've actually had that kind of experience before. It's kind of stupid. It kind of like ruins like down here, like the sole of it. But yeah, I highly recommend you put like some rubber sole on it. Um, but these pair of shoes, they cost $1,650 Canadian. That's around $1,290 US. So do I think these are worth it? I think for a leather pair of shoes, I think they're actually a decent price, especially if you're comparing it to like Ferragamo and like other shoe brands that are made for leather shoes. Um, and for a nice pair of leather shoes, they can last you for a long time, especially since at my age now, I'm not, my shoe size is not gonna get any larger or anything. So investing in a pair of nice shoes are worth it, especially since the Buckle Kelly, it's already so iconic, it's been out for so many years. I think these would just last for a long time. I don't even know how long these came out for, but yeah, I can't see these going away anytime soon, so. Yeah, and I love this because it's matte black. So the price of these vary depending on the color. Um, there are cheaper ones. There's also a suede one like I mentioned before, but it has a glossy buckle. I love this matte black because yeah, it's low key. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And if you'd like to follow me on my journey to discover more random products, places, and restaurants, then please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks, and I'll see you next time.